Okay, Dr. Huebner here, Natural Transplants. I'm here with Andrew. Uh, you may re remember Andrew from uh, his surgery day where we documented his, uh, the process of the surgery. Uh, he's now at exactly uh, 50 days or seven weeks um, post-op. And he's just coming in today for a checkup to make sure everything is, uh, is going okay. Uh, things are going great. The things that uh, a little concerning for him were, you know, I have a couple little pimple areas. And what those represent are ingrown hairs that will um, basically things are waking up. So when things start to wake up, sometimes you'll get a temporarily, you'll get a little area that looks like a little zit um, and the hair will work its way through. Um, nothing to be concerned about. Um, as you can see here, um, he has a little area uh, where the grafting was, it's still a little bit red, um, but that will slowly fade every, every week it goes by, it's less and less and less. At this point, he would be able to wear a little makeup or cover up if he needed it, but um, that's really up to him. Um, Andrew, how has the process been getting back to normal life? Um, it has been very easy to get back to normal life. I'm back at work. I, you know, I'm not covering my head. I see a lot of people at work, and only one person has asked me if I had a sunburn. Other than that, it's been nothing. So it's been fine. A couple of itches in the back on the suture line, but back to normal, really. Yeah. Yeah, and so things, you know, that the suture line, just because you take the sutures out doesn't mean the suture line is done. So the suture line continues to heal and fade over the, you know, up to a year. So um, even now, I'm going to show you the suture line, you really can't see much at all. So if you want to come in here and take a look, we can zoom in a little bit more on his hair. Um, but as you can see, it really can't really tell much going on. A little bit of redness here. These are those little areas of, um, of hairs that are still waking up. It almost looks like a little ingrown hair or zit or something like that, um, but very, very mild. Um, and you can see where his new hairline is going to be, just from the area of redness where it's nice and staggered all the way around. And we got back into his existing hair, so it's not just this little area here. He's going to have hair and thickness all the way through here. So I'm going to turn you around here and show you the suture line. So the nice thing for Andrew is he has a really nice hair type, nice curly hair. And also that, that tends to lend itself to having more ingrowns as things come in. But... Um, So there's a suture line. I keep saying as if somebody took a pen and drew a line. That's the thickness of a suture line. I hope the camera picks that up. It almost is hard to tell from in the from a crease, just a regular crease in the hair. Um, Right there. You see that little line? It's around there. there. So you just if you put your comb through the hair, I mean you just really can't you can't see anything. So right there. Maybe you can see there, gosh. So, Andrew did a great job taking care of it. Uh, can't wait to see his results. Obviously, at this point, seven weeks in, you wouldn't expect any growth. Um, growth starts at generally around three to four months. It starts out very thin and then slowly will gradually get thicker, thicker, thicker. Looking forward to seeing your progress, Andrew, and thank you again for, for showing patients, prospective patients, uh, what to expect after surgery. Pleasure.